I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Reverend Sam from the Church of South India. I am inviting you to read with me the fourth saying of our Lord on the cross. I shall read it for you from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 27 verses 45 and 46. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour and about the ninth hour Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying Eli Eli Lama Sabakthani that is my God my God why have you forsaken me if we can picturize the cross before us we can see Jesus was hanging on the cross with no further help for him to be saved from death. On the previous evening at the Gethsemane garden, Jesus had prayed to his father, My soul is sorrowful even to death. If it is your will, please let this cup pass from me. Jesus wanted that pain to be removed from him. Does it not tell us that our Lord was undergoing pain, suffering and fear of death? Would he not felt it to be traumatic and a an haunting experience? What it means to us when we try to understand our Lord's fragility and vulnerability on the cross? what these words on the cross could have meant to Jesus. I read about a man who was imprisoned in one of the worst prisons during the Second World War. He had been brutally tortured in prison. He became so weak both physically and mentally. He had no communication with anyone. He lost all his hopes but the only thing he could do was to pray to God. Prayer was the only means of communication he had. God, as an unseen person, became the only hope and company for him. When the war was over and he was rescued, he recollects that though he could not strengthen his body and mind, in all his pain and fragility during his prison life, his dependency upon God had strengthened his spirit in his situations of hopelessness. In the first part of Jesus' words, he calls out, My God, my God. We see Jesus could not reach to anyone else but only to his father to vent out his grief and pain. It seems Jesus was seeking God to cry out his helplessness. And when he cried, My God, can we find a sense of belonging with his father? Jesus must have felt separation from God whom he belonged to. The separation must be painful. But this sense of belonging to his father could have strengthened his spirit during the lost moments. He sought dependency upon God so that he could be strengthened. Today, when we watch the news of dying victims of coronavirus, we seem to be haunted. We are already physically distanced. Some are physically separated from our neighbors. Some separated within the same house. Some are separated across continents. Some are separated and placed in hospitals because of being infected. Some of whom undergo traumatic experience for fear of death. And some are separated forever that they cannot come back. During this time of crisis, each one of us is experiencing a different level of separation and dependency. Some in total despair ask, 
why God has forsaken me? Should we ignore this cry? Or should we hear this as Jesus crying for dependency and to be strengthened? Should we not identify the crucified Lord in the pain and trauma of those dying patients and those in helpless conditions? Let us think. May the crucified Lord help us to listen to his crying voice. Amen. Please join with me in reading Psalms 46, 1 to 3 as a prayer. God, be our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Amen. May God enable in us a sense of belonging to each other at this time of crisis. May God help us to realize that there are many who seek for dependency and cry out for help and need to be strengthened. May God enable us to be his agents of healing. Amen. Thank you for joining with me. God bless you all. Amen.